tried to paint you a picture of what's contained within my mind, I would be pleased. I have trouble properly expressing myself in words, and art wasn't my forte in school. So what's left are the random words that pop into my brain and then scribble down onto a page, embedded, unless I forget. The imagery in my mind has always been so vivid and not always kind, but it's something I wish I have wished I could put onto a screen, like a video downloaded from YouTube, like a presentation, the presentation of what goes on inside my head, the analysis of all that trans transpires around me and also within. And now that I read that, I have something funny that I'm going to read that's wicked short. <laughs> and I think some will get a kick out of this. Sometimes I think it would be cool to have people's photos and videos displayed after they die. But Google Photos might remix your nudes and make someone in your family have a heart attack and damn near die. Because they're looking at your anus from the inside as if it's an eye. They may not even figure it out right away until they realize there's some ass shots right next to the black hole of unknown. You took that picture back in 2004 before the internet was a big deal. And Google Photos was sneaky enough that once the time arrived for them to sync all the devices and back them up to your drive, you had no remembrance of those specific nudes because they were like a lost moment in time. <laughs> all right, I'm done. <laughs>